Hi everyone, welcome to the Rocking with Mark YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully you'll like the video content I put out, and if so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the videos. All right guys, on with the show. This YouTube video is brought to you by Retorto Family Books. Check out www.retorto family books where you can find books written by your host, Mark Retorto, including The Cabal, The Saga Begins, and Mark is the Vampire, as well as books written by his daughter, Christina Retorto, including Invisible Girl and A Little Bit Louder. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rockin' with Mark YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about the um, full details of the George Lynch guitar um, that I built. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of George Lynch. And what you're looking here in this first picture is exactly the type of guitar that I was trying to model uh, my guitar project after. Um, now, full disclaimer... I'm not a handy person. This is my first time doing a uh, guitar project of this. I've never done this before. Uh, I'm not really a craftsman or anything like that. So this project did have a lot of mistakes. Um, eventually, the first uh, guitar I built, I chose to use a Dean Vendetta guitar. Now, what's interesting about this guitar is it was fully functional. And um, I just like the way the body looked and everything like that. Now, the, my original intent was to buy it and then not only paint it to look like the George Lynch guitar, I think it's the GL 200 series uh, made by LTD Emmer ESP, but also to replace the humbuckers with uh, Seymour Duncan design pickups. But um, as I stated before, I'm not a handy guy, and this project was not an easy one. The first... Um, the pickups I bought, one batch eventually died 30 days later. Um, the reason I had to wait 30 days later is because I had to wait for the water to, to uh, warm up, and I'll get to the details about that later. Um, and then this, the other uh, Seymour Duncan design pickups I couldn't put in because I didn't have the screws for it. So I ended up buying another pair of cheap humbuckers from eBay, and um, there's a little bit of video of that towards the end when you get to see the final completion of the, the guitar, doing a little playing of it. But I didn't like the sound of it. And eventually I replaced them with another pair of uh, pickups I got from Amazon called Melor. Uh, I'll put links to the, to the uh, pickups that I eventually bought. And I actually like the way they sound. Unfortunately for this video, I do not have them. Uh, me showing... My, me playing the guitar with those humbuckers in there because when I did replace them, I broke the string. As I said, I did have a lot of challenges. Anyway, so as you can see here, this is the picture of the original uh, Dean Vendetta guitar that I bought. Um, this is the way it looks on eBay. Um, now, the guitar did have some bridge damage. I had, oh, not damage. I had to replace the saddle on it, but the neck was fine. The frets were fine. The whammy bar were fine. Um, one of the pickups did not, I actually think the pickups did work. Actually, I take it back. The pickups did work. Um, but I wanted to try to teach myself how to replace humbuckers. So that's part of my project. Not only did I want to learn um, paint a guitar, and stuff like that. I wanted to learn how to replace components of the guitar. So this project, you know, taught me a lot of things. Um, here's another picture of what the guitar looked like <coughs> when I got it in my house. <clears throat> and then at first I was just going to um, paint the front of it and half of the back of it because <clears throat> I didn't want to remove the electrical components. As you can see in here, I um, removed the paint uh, on the back and the front of it using a heat gun, which is a good idea if you're ever going to remove um, paint from an existing car and change the color of it. Um, you, you don't really have to do that. You can just use high grit sandpaper to, to scratch the surface of it to get the paint off. Um, there's a lot of videos 
and how to paint a guitar. I'll post links to the videos that I use as reference in the description of this video to other YouTube channels that I found very helpful. There were a couple of YouTubers that were um, that had this kind of did something similar to this, but not exactly this type of guitar project that I was working on. But they they responded to my questions and they were very helpful. So I want to give the credit where credit's due and post links to their video in the description of this one. Um, as you can see here, then I primed it. And like I said in the beginning, I was trying to paint it and try to avoid removing electrical points. So originally I was going to have the back be half yellow, half black. Um, um, but eventually I noticed that it wasn't going to look right. The finish wasn't going to look right. So then I removed all the paint off using the heat gun. Um, and then I re repainted it again. And just so you guys know, the first time I painted this, I used a paint called Rustoleum, which is made out of enamel. Now, it could work with this, but at the time, the weather was cold, and this type of paint, the weather has to be really type of warm, really warm out there. It's got to be at least 70 degrees, and I had a lot of problems where I would sand it, and pieces of the uh, paint would come off, um, which would have been fine if it was just in one color. Um, Painted guitar, but since I was using multicolors um, for this project, it just wasn't feasible. And then in this picture, again, this is my first attempt at trying to do this type of guitar. I repainted it probably like 10 or 20 times, but I created my um, own template outline for how I wanted the tiger stripes to do. Because originally, I saw some other YouTuber doing it. Some outliner. Um, I forget what kind of outliner he used, but it was piece of, basically paper. Then he etched it out with a razor and then, you know, painted it. And then here's me painting in the tiger stripes. But unfortunately, <clears throat> as you can see, um, by this picture, it, it did not look good at all. <laughs> it looked horrible. So I then tried it again. But this time I used uh, Perfect Match, is the color Perfect Match, which is made of a lacquer paint. It's a lot better um, paint, dries faster. And a lot of YouTubers I uh, found out eventually um, chose to use this type of paint. And again, I had issues with it um, on the project because the first color I got I didn't like it I mean, the guitar looks good here but it didn't have that shiny look that I was looking for um, so I repainted it with a different color yellow and then I tried to do again try to do a different outline for the tiger stripes um, but uh, it didn't look good <laughs> it just I just could not get it to look good so then I tried the reverse process, which was paint it black. Now, had I known that in the beginning, I would have just left it black and just taped off the way I wanted the tiger stripes. And then I used, this time I used painter's tape, which I think is a lot better. You get an idea as to where my, how my tiger stripes are going to look. I may actually do another project later on where the guitar is black and the stripes are blue because I actually kind of like the way that looked. But um, I obviously had to use the yellow paint that I purchased, and that's what it looked like. Um, the tiger stripes, I thought, you know, it came out very good. But again, I had problems with it when I took the tape off. Some of the paint came off, so I had to use a Duplicolor um, pen fill -in fillers. It's made by Deeper Color, but it's not made of lacquer, it's made of enamel. So when I did put the uh, clear coat on, some of the uh, areas turned a little odd color. Um, but for the most part, the guitar looked good. Um, it came out way better than my first couple of attempts, so I was happy with it. Um, then 
I replace the home buckers or some pitches need to be replaced with home buckers. And here's a quick video of me playing some 80s tune. I'll put a link to that video. That kind of just gives you an idea of what the guitar finally looked like. But again, this is before the final humbuckers that I bought on Amazon, um, which I just recently put in. There's a picture of that. But as I said, I do not have a final video of me playing it, but I will be making a lot of videos with this guitar. I just hope you guys found this uh, video to be informative. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Alright everybody, thank you.